This is what if. And here's what would happen if Earth was the size of Pluto. Pluto sits on the solar system's edge, just beyond Neptune's orbit. It was once considered a planet, but then in 2006, scientists demoted this celestial body to a dwarf planet. All because Pluto isn't big enough to gravitationally dominate in its own orbit. After all, this dwarf planet is only two-thirds the diameter of our moon. So if Earth was as tiny as Pluto, how would eight billion people fit on it? We would have to fit everyone into an area slightly bigger than Russia, 71% of which would be covered with oceans. But the good news is this shrunken Earth would still have room for everyone, just barely. You and every person on the planet would have about one and a half tennis courts to yourselves. The problem is that doesn't take into account the space we need for hospitals, airports, and roads. Once we build those, things would start getting cramped. Add to that all the uninhabitable areas like deserts and mountains, and you won't have enough room to comfortably fit everyone. But if you're looking for a quick escape, it would be easy for you to make a break for it. One jump could catapult you almost 7.6 meters into the air. And that leap would last for almost 10 seconds, giving you a spectacular view of the horizon. You could also run faster since there would be less friction. But watch out for slick surfaces. They could send you flying long distances because there wouldn't be enough gravity to keep you in place. On this dwarf planet, the air pressure would also be small. So no matter where you're at, it would feel like standing on a mountaintop 5,000 meters high. Yeah, with less oxygen to breathe, you would be constantly gasping for air. If you're lucky, this high altitude sickness will leave you lightheaded, but if you're unlucky, it could kill you. But even that wouldn't be the worst case scenario. Technically, the lack of gravity would make Earth uninhabitable. A study out of Harvard from 2019 found that a planet needs a mass of at least 2.7% of the Earth to keep water on the surface. If Earth had formed to be the size of Pluto four and a half billion years ago, it would never have its mighty oceans. Now, how would this affect the moon? Well, Pluto's largest moon, Charon, doesn't orbit the dwarf planet. Instead, the two bodies are tidally locked with the same sides always facing each other. Our dwarf Earth would be forever facing the moon in the same position, locked in place by a common center of mass caused by our competing gravitational pulls. But all of this would be the least of our problems. If Earth was this small, its inner core would be much cooler. Now, that might sound good at first. Earthquakes would stop because there wouldn't be shifting tectonic plates anymore. Volcanoes would become harmless mountains. But unfortunately, Earth wouldn't have a protective magnetic field without the hot molten core. With this gone, the radiation from the sun would fry our planet. An instantaneous dwarf Earth would cause mass devastation. 